here, Reagan's here. We're just gonna bounce. Yeah, I'm watching. Yeah, I'm watching. What's in what you do? Uganda or northern Uganda, football is everything. There's a real culture of the game here, yet there's very little infrastructure. There's been a huge instability in East Africa. It makes it hard even for people locally to invest in anything long term because people are still thinking about how am I going to eat tomorrow, how am I going to pay school fees for my, for my kids next month. Um, so to be able to think long term is a very difficult thing in a community that's trying to live day to day. For our boys in the academy, I think a lot of them were born right at the tail end of the conflict or after the conflict. Um, so they wouldn't have any direct memories, they would hear stories. Um, they'll hear about kind of aunts and uncles and others who had, were lost during the conflict or who were abducted. Um, everybody in the community could tell a story. It's less around kind of personal scars and more about mindset um, and how do you change that and that's something that takes generations to, to impact. My name is Kumurigan. I come from For Good. I'm 13 years old. My dad died last year. When my father is not there, my mother remain alone. It's difficult to have to pay my brothers and sisters in school. Uh, I, I'm not afraid to go and win tackles. It's funny, when we talk about the combination of grit and joy, Reagan, he's exactly it. So he is the most determined tackler in our academy. Um, and he will smash you and he'll do it smiling. We have two brothers. So Abraham and Yona uh, are from Lira, about two hours away. They're a really interesting story. So they, they came to an open trial. They were actually selling biscuits and that on the street. So they had bus fare to go from, to make the two hour journey from Lira to Gulu. Uh, and that was all the money they had in their pocket. Yeah, there were many times that we didn't even have food in the house. So sometimes we sleep like that, wake up in the morning, start to look, at it, look for a way to get hand money for that day. In, the, in this academy, I sleep, I sleep healthy thinking about what will I do tomorrow in the field or how will I perform in class. The most thing that made me to be a, become a goalkeeper is the, is the way guys come out and make a dive and the other one is the way they communicate to their defenders. There is absolutely no quit in these kids. They have a mentality where it could always be one more, it could always be a little extra. You know, I've been to academies all over the world and I've talked to academy directors and that's their biggest problem right now is there's a lack of toughness in kids. How do you create grit? Um, I don't have to create grit. It's here. It exists. I don't have to fabricate it. Um, we don't have kids scrolling on Facebook 24 hours a day. I don't have kids sitting in front of their PlayStation or their Xbox. Um, they go to school. You know, we, we have conversations and talk about their character and who they are and what they want to achieve. We train and play football and that's it. That's what they're focused on and that's what they love and that's what they want. 